When we created the Retail Excellence Programme, we were a little bit nervous about calling it a programme, to be honest, because a programme has this sense of a beginning and an end. I think what we all know for sure um, is this is an enduring, ongoing, never-ending story. This is the next step on that journey. We had, to begin with, Customer Experience Programme. Now we have the Retail Excellence. And we will go on from there because this is... So here in Kutno we have two active Pringles lines and as you know Pringles is a capacity constrained business so that means that every chip we produce we are able to sell. That's a nice position to be in. On the other hand a Pringles installation does not come cheap and also the technology is quite complicated. So in Mechelen we already have lines 1 to 6. We started up line 7 already in June 2014. And then this year, in March 2015, we started up Line 8. And we're very proud of the results we achieved so far. Laura, just yes. a quick word. Do you want to give me an update on any appointments so far? Yes, I got on really well this morning with Tim and Victoria Smith. I was able to help them with an upgrade to a U First Gold, right. referral to the FPM for investment advice and for family protection. And they're also going to take their home insurance with us. I also spoke to them about starting up a loyalty saver to start putting money aside for the kids' education and a credit card, but they want to leave that until next month to sort out, so I've got them booked in again for a month's time. Think of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We invent things, we change things. We also change or add ingredients, so we want a new variant. We'll go to the flavour houses, for instance, in the Rice Krispie Squares, the mint. We sourced over 20 different types of mint flavour. First thing you'll notice when you come into this room is the actual, the very strong smell of chocolate. We have every kind of chocolate possible. We've got sunflower oils, we've got sodium bicarbs, we've got fructose, we've got malt, things like that which we keep on top of and we do monthly stock checks. On this shelf we've got lots of flavours that we're using for our new special K Cracker Crisps. And as if by magic, with a couple of clicks, all my details were on the screen in front of him. Now why hadn't he just done that in the first place? While he was staring at the screen, I found myself filling in the awkward silence by going over the story one more time, labouring on the calls from the landlord and the expensive taxi ride, not only to get there, but to take me back. Still no response, just some tapping and more staring. Finally, he looked up and said, OK, that's it sorted. And that was that. No discussion, no explanation and no apology. I was able to wave down a passing taxi and as I slumped into the back seat, I called Brian, and more importantly, the landlord, to repeat the same words I had heard a few moments earlier. That's it sorted. Or so I thought. The landlord rang again. Yep, you've guessed it, he still hadn't been paid. Brian said the landlord had started to talk about the rental agreement we'd signed and how failure to pay the rent could result in further action being taken. He wasn't taking any more excuses. Brian tried to explain about the numerous discussions we'd had with the bank, but as he did, I realised how it could start to sound like an excuse. How could the bank get something so simple, so wrong? Well, guess where I spent Saturday morning? Going over the whole story again with a fourth person. The story was getting so long and complicated by this stage that you wish you had made a video just so you could hit the play button.
it seems like the last guy had actually fixed the problem, but only for next month's standing order and any future payments. Apparently I should have known to have done a one-off electronic transfer into the landlord's account. They even suggested that they charge me a fee to cover the lack of funds in my account to cover the rent. As you can tell, that was an idea that was discussed at length. Anyway, the payment was made, no more talk of a fee, and best of all, a happy landlord. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I have a date with a lovely comfy sofa and a box of chocolates. <laughs>